Um, first rule in the Senate should be friends don't filibuster friends. So I'm going to be real brief and tell you with the attack on the free press and with the attack on the First Amendment that we have seen in the last few months, your work has never been more important. Understand that right at the outset. You are our counter. You are our counter. You are our counter when the free press and the First Amendment are under attack. So thank you so much for what you're doing. Now let's talk about the challenges in your job. I cannot find any instance where whistleblower work has been an easy path to career boosting. <laughs> Being a whistleblower is never a walk in the park. Many of your fellow Americans are never going to know about the great sacrifices you have made for them by being willing to step up, to speak out. But you know that some of your colleagues, where you're working, very often may not be quite so quick to go out and have a cup of coffee when they know that you're speaking truth to power. But the fact is that if you're going to tell the story about information, information about waste, fraud, and abuse, you've got to have people who are willing to come forward, even when it's incredibly uncomfortable. Now, I sat on the Senate Intelligence Committee. Sometimes my older kids tease me and say, well, I guess we ought to call that the so-called intelligence <laughs> crowd. There are a lot of good people on these committees. But we very much need people like yourselves to come forward and come forward consistent with the rules we have even though they're not as tough as I would like. So what I'd like to close with is giving you a sense of what our agenda is. First, we got to reauthorize the Office of Special Counsel. Yes. That is the go-to place. <laughs> We've got to give FBI whistleblowers the same protection as other federal employees. Yes. We've got to... We've got to make sure whistleblowers in the legislative branch are treated the same as whistleblowers in the executive branch. And in March, <laughs> Senator Grassley and I introduced legislation to strengthen the IRS whistleblower program. And then we need stronger protections for whistleblowers who work for federal contractors, both in civilian and intelligence <laughs> agencies. Contractor whistleblowers outside the intelligence community have statutory authority. There is no reason that contractors inside intelligence agencies shouldn't be similarly protected. Let me just close with this because it's obvious we've got a lot of work to do in a variety of these uh, sectors. There's been a number of wonderful things about my time in public service. You just heard from Senator Grassley. Senator Grassley is a real deal. He was for whistleblowing before it was cool. Okay? And we talk often about these issues and all the issues relating to the Sunshine Act and transparency and our getting rid of secret holds and the like. 
And we've had a number of victories in the past. But I cannot remember a time in history, certainly in my lifetime, where the role of the whistleblower was more important. In the sprawl of all the arguments about fake news and about how making sure the public right to know is satisfied is somehow transformed automatically into a leak and people are chased down on the basis of spurious charges, you step in. You step in as whistleblowers and you say, you know, I probably ought to be home with the kids or an aging parent or a whole host of things that you'd like to do when you have time on weekends and evenings. And instead, you put in a few more hours because you're going to tell truth to power. And you're going to do it at a time when, as you can see in your morning newspaper, there are a lot of people who don't want to hear that. And a lot of people who might go after you if you speak truth to power. What I want you to know is how much your work is appreciated, especially in this climate. And when you do that courageous, gutsy work of standing up to speak out, and you're worried about what's going to happen, I want you to know that Senator Grassley and I and friends of whistleblowing on both sides of the aisle, we are going to be there. We're going to be with you at the ramparts. We understand how uniquely important whistleblowing is at this time in history. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all you do. We're going to stand with you in these fights in the days ahead. Thanks, everybody.